Kia ora team, my name is Ben and welcome to your first back massage. So I've got my client lying down on the table, they're draped and when we apply the draping we ask our client how far they want to be massaged and then as we put the draping into their shorts this is the limit to where we're palpating. Alright, so step one, we want to apply your lubricant of choice. So we've got cream here and as we do so we apply it to our hands first and then, then rub it in before applying it to our client. So we'll begin with effleurage. So effleurage is a nice gentle stroke just to introduce touch and to apply a lubricant to our client. So our hands are nice and relaxed and we're just gently introducing touch. So we're going to effleurage the whole back and then we're going to come around to the side and begin work on on one side. So again, there's our effleurage. And then we can proceed to petrissage. So petrissage, we apply pressure through our fingers. We can overlay our other hand on top. And it's a gliding motion following up the erector spinae. Petrissage is a deeper technique and we're looking to palpate the muscle and feeling for tightness or any irregularities. So we're going to form strips up his back and get a feeling for the tissue. And at this time we're going to be talking to the client about the depth and the pressure, whether it's too much or not enough. So when you need to introduce more lotion, uh, we don't leave our client. We keep one hand on our client, apply more, and then continue the massage. So at no point during the massage, so returning to effleurage now, no point during the massage do we lose contact with the client so they can always feel safe and secure knowing what's going on. So after we've gone back to effleurage, we'll go back to a harder technique, so thumb circles. So using your thumb and coming around and circling through the erector spinae. So with our thumb circles, again, we're, we're talking to our client to see how the pressure is, whether they want more or less and what's comfortable for them. So we can do single thumb circles and we can also do double thumb circles. So with our thumb circles, we're going back to the areas that we found in our petrissage that may have been tighter or more tender, so we can work on them. If your client wants more pressure while we're doing thumb circles, you can always use your opposite hand to place on the thumb, and then we can lean through that hand to apply more pressure. So something to note, when you're doing a single thumb circle, you can use whatever hand feels more comfortable, either the hand closest to the client or the other. Uh, it's often good to use your other hand to reinforce the wrist, both for pressure and also to stop you from accidentally just leaning on your client to brace yourself. Because we don't want to accidentally place your hand on the client's backside as you're going up. Alright, so once we've done our thumb circles, we return to effleurage. So we always alternate a harder technique with a softer technique. Okay, following up, now we can come up to his upper traps and we can knead. 
So with kneading, we scoop and then pull and squeeze at his upper traps. So when we're doing this, we want to make sure to have this type of a grip. So we're squeezing the tissue. We never want to claw and grab like that because it's going to be pokey and uncomfortable. So kneading into the upper traps. And again, always checking with your client with regards to pressure. Um, more, less, or is that about right? Okay. And then we can return to F barrage and we can go to the other side. So again, when changing sides, we don't want to lose contact with our client. So keep a hand on before repeating the process on the other side. I'm not going to do that. We'll carry on and imagine that I have. So now that I've done both sides of what I've done, we can link the whole back together and we can do ringing. So in a Tai Chi stance, we apply pressure downwards and just alternate the hands from side to side. So just like we're wringing out a dishcloth. So the more we use our body, the less we actually have to use the muscles of our arms and the longer we can massage before getting tired. And then from here, we can knead both upper trapezius together. So scooping in, squeezing and lifting the tissue. And being careful not to claw, but rather than pull and lift with that pincer grip. And then we can come up to the head and we can do some light stretching down from the neck and down the upper traps so then the, the pads of our fingers work down through there so the neck has a lot less muscle around we want to be lighter with our pressure until we discover what our client is comfortable with. And then again we can come up to the neck itself and we can just gently do some soaring or circular motion into the neck musculature. So when we're working around the neck, as you can see my fingers get nice and straight. So we never want to tuck our hands under because the client's going to feel like they're being choked. So always keeping them straight up and down. And then from the, uh, from the head of the bed, we can step back and we can let our palms just lean in along those upper traps and then coming down to do a big stretch through those traps. So there's no hurry. And we don't have to push very hard because if we lean our body, we can apply firm pressure without it being too hard work on you as the therapist. And then again from the same position, we can let our palms run down the erector spinae with the same thing. And again, we can apply firm pressure without much fatigue for us because we're getting our body to the work and just leaning through. And then at 
the completion of our massage, we'll return to that nice gentle eclairage stroke. And then we're finished. And we want to redrape our client. So they're nice and covered and use this opportunity just to gently jostle through the towel to remove any extra lotion from them and make sure they feel nice and secure and then we'll let them know that the massage has completed and that you're going to leave the room to wash your hands so they can get up and get dressed and remind them that you'll knock on the door before you enter all right, well done team. That will be your first simple, nice basic back massage. Have a good day.